Hello traders, hello investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is going up nicely. Uh, it is going up 2% right now at this moment I'm recording this video. If you ask me, I think Tesla is just trying to do what it's called a V-shape recovery. It found a support level at $756. Now, we are trying to reverse the trend. We are doing a reversal. I mean, we are doing some reversal candlesticks and chart patterns all around Tesla. So we're gonna talk about this and more in this video. So remember my friends, if you are already my subscriber, click on the like button to support this channel. If you are new around here, consider subscribing because I firmly believe this video is going to be helpful to you. Now, Tesla is doing a pullback and that's fine because we are near a resistance level which is at this point over here roughly at this point okay something like this maybe we're not quite there but uh we are doing a natural pullback now a pullback to the 21 exponential moving average is totally acceptable if we see a bullish reaction at this support level it's going to be a buy opportunity tesla is doing a v-shaped recovery it did yesterday it did a bullish pivot point, it did a top, a bottom, higher than the previous bottom, now it triggered the previous top, and okay, as, as long as it does a bottom higher than the previous bottom at the EMA at a support level, that's fine, the trend will still be bullish in the short term, and this is good news, this is good news, I think Tesla is a buy right now, however, we must pay attention to the daily chart, because it is not by accident we are dropping right now at this moment. Tesla just hit its 21 exponential moving average in the daily chart. And naturally, as usual, it found a resistance at this area and right now we are losing strength. Still, I still believe Tesla is bullish right now in the short term. In the mid term, unfortunately, we are still bearish. However, I still, I told you guys that I recommended Tesla last week, last Friday, and I bought Tesla, I still have Tesla, I firmly believe we are going to fill this gap at $920 despite, despite what we see in the daily chart. The daily chart is slightly bearish, but considering we, we were quite close to many support levels, including the Fibonacci's retracements over here. I mean, yesterday we did a very good bullish candlestick pattern just after we briefly retested the 61.8% retracement down here. Then we did a fantastic reaction. Now we are bouncing back up to the EMA. Okay, we already knew that this is going to be, this was going to be a challenging point for Tesla, but uh, if Tesla breaks this point, then we're gonna see a mid-term, a mid-term reversal chart pattern in the daily chart and that's going to be fantastic. This is going to be fantastic news. As I told you guys last week, I was expecting this week was going to be a positive week and so far so good, we are going up more than 2% right now at this moment. But uh, today is Wednesday, we still have two more days to go so we gotta pay attention to the 21 exponential moving average in the daily chart which is the most challenging point for us right now. In my humble opinion, we are gonna break it, okay? We're gonna break. I just don't know how. O okay, maybe we're gonna do a pullback to the one, to the 21 EMA in the one hour chart. That's just fine. Any meaningful reaction over here, great. It's going to be a buy opportunity. Now, what if we lose the 21 exponential moving average in the one hour chart? Then I believe we're gonna seek the 50% retracement or in the worst case scenario, the 61.8% re retracement. Any bullish reaction at these levels are going to be a buy opportunity, in my humble opinion. Of course, I rather prefer to see Tesla holding around the EMA area because the EMA is roughly at the same point we see the 38.2% retracement. So this point over here is a more meaningful support level. So if Tesla hits again the $807, $6 down here, that's fine. Maybe we'll see a buy opportunity because this is a very strong support level. The 50% and the 61.8% are also quite strong, but I rather prefer to see it holding at the 38.2 because if Tesla does this, it's going to show us some strength, okay? And it is important to see Tesla doing some 
meaningful stronger signs right now at this moment okay so right now we are seeing a correction that's fine that's expected uh, bull trends are made of higher highs higher lows so we gotta see lows at some points as long as the lows don't lose the previous lows okay as long as we see ascending bottoms now in the daily chart again let, let, let's finish this analysis right now in the daily chart it is annoying that we see this huge shadow above the candlesticks body okay it is truly annoying it is a reminder that okay tesla is still bearish in the midterm but considering the support levels in the daily chart the support levels in the one hour chart and considering in the weekly chart we are still we are kind of moving erratically just after we, we retested the support level at 710 dollars i do believe we have more chances of going up than down at this moment despite the bearish scenario in the daily chart so it, by breaking the ema i think you're gonna see something amazing i think tesla will easily easily fill the gap at 920 dollars easily and what's more in the midterm we still have 1115 which is the most meaningful res resistance for us right now in the midterm i do believe that by breaking the ema we might retest 1115 in the next few months okay so let's pay attention to what tesla is doing right now remember to subscribe i told you this video was going to be helpful so remember to support this channel and i wish to you all a great day thank you very much for watching this video stay safe farewell